Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 3rd of September 2022. It's autumn. I'm back in the pub. I'm doing this on a Saturday which is somewhat unusual for me. It's the John Wallace Linton in Newport and it's very overcast and it's been a bit drizzly and I think the drought is over. Well, at least for this week and the week ahead. So let's get on with it then if you haven't seen this before this is me moaning on about the previous week beer tech um, somewhat work related lots of weather related lots of everything okay so let's start with the word or phrase of the week emergency everything's an emergency the climate emergency, the cost of living emergency, the emergency emergency. If you want to pull something up, you just add emergency to the end of it. Or you can just put the word crisis at the end of it. Because, you know, sometimes you just have to get on with things, but why should you when you could add the word emergency? Cynical at heart moving on uh, the app of the week and I've used this a lot and probably not for the reason it was designed for it's on Windows it's notepad it's in accessories just have it open paste stuff in there that you need and you want to go back to it like a clipboard manager but free actually Windows 10 has a clipboard manager which you need to turn on um, it's great for removing formatting. Just paste it in there, copy it, copy it back out. <sighs> I love it. Mary Jo Foley loves it. Uh, it's her writing tool. It's a great little app. Um, there is one for Mac OS 10. But I'm not altogether sure about it. Um, uh, the, the equivalents on the Mac aren't... Well, they're not quite the same. And... Um, I wish iOS had it because well you know things however I do use simple notes just to um, put things into notepad you've already got it if you got Windows enjoy it and the thing of the week the thing of the week is the Monmouth retrospective so okay it's close so you don't have to burn up too much petrol, although getting there by public transport it would be very difficult. Um, the journey up was all in the, the light, although dawnish. Um, and there was mist, which suggested that autumn was coming. And that was correct. The Premier Inn I was staying at, come out of the tunnels, turn left, past the Shell petrol station, there's a mini roundabout, turn left, first left again, you're there. The rooms are very nice, as you would expect, with a Premier in. The all-you-can-eat breakfast is very solid. The only thing that is not a rather good is the ultimate Wi-Fi. £5 a night, um, 7 nights or plus 3 nights is £15. Definitely not ultimate. 1080p uploads instead of 4K. Rather slow downloads, a bit finickety. Run by Virgin. Now, if you go into the Punch House or the Weatherspoons, both have much faster up and down, fibre to the cabinet, full speeds, and a free Premier Inn. Get your act together. Really, really saying that. Pub wise, um, the Weatherspoons is a hotel, so it's open from 7 o'clock in the morning. Bar opens at 9 o'clock. Um, beer garden, lots of different areas there, friendly staff. Um, didn't seem to do a roaring trading cascade though. Punch House is nice. The best place to drink there is actually not a pub. It's an ex-pub. Um, the pub was the Griffin. Um, and it's now a bike shop where you get local craft ales including from Untapped. That's with an E which is just down the road in Raglan. You can drink in in the shop itself or out on the street outside I drank outside on the uh, street outside it was warm it was sunny it was uh, very enjoyable and the beers were the beers are really good 
Um, will I go back there again? Possibly yes. Possibly only for one night. It's not really a beer town. But it's still nice. Okay. Um, last Friday, because Saturday wrap last week was from a Friday. The energy cap. Okay, gas prices are supposed to be coming down this week, but not enough. And it looks like they will be going back up because yesterday the Nord 1 pipeline got, well, it looks like, turned off forever. Don't base yourself on other people, especially other people who could change their minds. And don't close down nuclear power stations when it means a burning lignite. Not very green. There you go. Um, I've already mentioned this. Monmouth, MB09, 2022. Before I left, it was dark. Orion was in the rising in the east and sets in the west. It was in the eastern sky, low down. Another sign of autumn. <sighs> and, okay, Sunday morning, full English. Full English a toaster sorry toast made in a real toaster unlike those conveyor belt things you normally get in a premier in which you put them through once and it's not cooked enough put them through again they burn to a crisp mind you the toasters were a bit slow but you could up it and back down and whatever and then let it go cool and put plenty of butter on it and yeah um, Jury's still out about having a full English for breakfast when I go away. There's the cost, almost 10 quid against time? I'm not sure. There you go. Um, so on Sunday, apply to join twit.social or Mastodon instance. Still haven't heard back from them. Uh, I might just tweet them. Um, yeah, I know. But Mastodon, there you go. Bank holiday Monday okay so that means a four day week and coming back from Monmouth the trees along the side of the road they were red and amber and yellow in the leaves uh, false autumn maybe not maybe autumn is already here I think it is to be honest um, but when I got home my tomato plants out in the garden red tomatoes and they were lovely um, not all of them have turned red but the biggest ones have so it's been tomatoes for tea every night and if not for tea just grab a handful and just eat them they are small ones cherry type and um, blight resistant which is just as well given the weather at the moment ah uh, but late everything's late this year apart from autumn which is early Tuesday back in work Aldi no vinegar no scotch eggs Tesco's luckily price matching um, gave up um, coleslaw due to costs due to calories due to well I wish I hadn't to be perfectly honest I might go back on to it uh, but you know things Wednesday well Wednesday lunchtime we have gas escaping in the office we were told to evacuate someone's stealing our gas we want it back because that's a valuable commodity um, so work from home on Wednesday afternoon yeah <laughs> um, Thursday and Friday no gas means no hot water means well, we have hot water for the um, hot tea and coffee because we have electrically powered urns. But, you know, maybe a sign of what winter will be like. They cut our gas off. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, also Wednesday, especially Wednesday afternoon, here's the thing. Data entry hygiene. And agile. And planning ahead and thinking about things I'll leave it at that you know because well okay I'm um, moving on um, this week in the tumble Tuesday and Thursday 
two uniques and I mean the John Wallace Linton at the moment a unique here shingle a single beach single bay from Salkham in Devon so that's another unique this is all very good the plan for today is sure um, and then the pen and wig and then the harbour fish bar then tiny rebel then the weird dad tap room it's not really that weird <laughs> but there you go Friday morning going to work um, on the Philly bypass overtaken on the outside of a roundabout by a white beamer it was it was half past five in the morning and up ahead in the distance after he overtook me went through a red light yeah German car drivers my car's made in India <laughs> would have thought anyway um, also on Friday had a little uh, email from the Daily Tech News show saying your delivery is on its way from Latvia um, plugged it into the parcels app um, lots of updates in Latvian I translate and Google translate and Bing translate apparently it has now left Latvia it's amazing yeah, it's amazing it's a small world and lastly poopy stupid bat 2019 um, a guy making music had his daughter four years old come up with some keywords for new music she came up with amongst others poopy stupid butt roll forward to today and the guy needs um, well his family needs medical treatment and he's in America uh, no NHS although even with the NHS sometimes you need to go private um, the equivalent of looking down the back of the SETI for coins he looked on his Amazon music account which he normally gets one or two dollars a month or something like that seven hundred dollars kids today like shouting at Amazon assistants play poopy songs that's where the money is poopy stupid but it's a funny old world anyway um. 12 minutes 40 well, usually about 30 minutes I'm out of sure so I'm out of sure um, bye bye and filmic pro I know what you said on Twitter but I've already paid and I don't want to go to subscription pa